In this video, I'm going to give you six tips on how to use a crack sealer melter applicator. First, let's talk about temperature, how to heat it, and how to control it. So how we heat it is through a burner system. The flame heats up the base of the machine, heats it up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, ideal to melt it from a solid physical form, a block of rubber, to liquid hot rubber for application. Now let's talk about controlling it. There are different kinds of machines. As an example, this is the RY10 Elite right here. It has a digital display. You can literally see on the digital display what temperature it's running at. It's important as it reaches that 350 degree mark, you wanna definitely turn down the regulator on the machine, controlling less flow to the flame, making it more of a generally smooth heating environment. Now, in regards to the RY10 Pro, the RY10 Pro has a glycerin filled temperature gauge. That temperature gauge can be seen right in front of you and you'll be able to see that same temperature that you're wanting to consistently keep it at at 350 degrees. If you overheat your machines, what happens is the crack sealer crystallizes on the bottom of your machine and it turns to almost like a glass. You don't want that because those chunks of glass can block your valving system. Next, how to load the machine. It's actually really, really easy to load the machine, but we always want to think about safety first. So make sure you get a good pair of gloves that are going to protect your hands. You'll go ahead and take the rubber block of crack sealer and you'll load it from the side of the machine or the front of the machine. The great thing is when you load the machine on these RY10s, they have a slanted inside slope. So they're always leading towards the valving system, always making sure that you're not leaving crack sealer inside your machine, settling to any opposite side. The great thing about this machine is that with the slant, when you're loading the machine, if it happens to get overfilled, it always ends up overflowing away from the operator. You can also fill this machine with two blocks of rubber, unlike other machines in the industry. This machine will allow you to get two blocks in it, safe and sound. Limit the material to what you need. You see with this nice narrow shoe on these RhinoWorks melter applicators, it means that you're leaving a nice sealed crack with not too much overlap on both sides of the crack. In a lot of cases, wider shoes means that you're leaving excess crack sealer on the surface. And let's face it, it's an expense, right? You wanna seal the crack, that's the purpose. So let's get to sealing the crack with the shoe that's designed to seal cracks up to half inch wide. Next pro tip is you wanna make sure to never overfill your shoe. When you do overfill your shoe, you have puddling that ends up occurring on both sides of the shoe. And let's face it, you don't wanna be wasting crack sealer. It's just additional cost but you do have that crack squeegee in case you do happen to make a mistake, that crack squeegee will be able to spread out that crack sealer nice and neat. Additional tools you'll need. A Tiger Torch is most handy for being able to clean your machine or to get to a little spot, let's say where there's a crack in a corner or something with vegetation, or even dried up old crack sealer that might've been applied previously that you wanna melt down into a liquid form. And that will allow you to spread it out nice and even and then apply your new crack sealer. That torch is also used to heat up the wheels as crack sealer builds up on them. You wanna make sure to keep your machine nice and clean. Also great for heating up the valving system in case there's any kind of blockage that occurs. Goal is to keep your machine clean, keep vegetation off the surface. That Tiger Torch is a win. Another tool you can use is the squeegee. That crack squeegee can be used to essentially push around any puddles of crack sealer that might've built up in areas that you aren't able to just spread out with the machine itself. Next, how do you choose the right crack filler? There are three different crack fillers in the marketplace. Liquid pour crack filler, it's water-based. Comes in one gallon bottles, you squeeze it in the cracks, the liquid crack filler settles, gravity allows it to spread out, it takes about two to three hours to dry up, creating a watertight seal. Generally, residential homeowners will use a liquid pour crack filler. It's cost-effective and it comes in small quantities that allow you to get your job done for a residential driveway, for example. The thing with the liquid pour crack filler with the bottles is that you're always having to bend over so you can definitely hurt your back. Now that's when we step it up to what we call rubberized direct fire crack filler. It's used in direct fire melter applicators and it's designed to be heated with direct fire with a flame. That rubberized crack sealer ends up melting down to liquid form for application. Contractors use that machine to make money doing crack sealing services. Also large estates, commercial plaza parking lots, storage facilities, churches, airports, use direct fire, crack sealer for application. The next one up from that is oil jacketed material. Oil jacketed material cannot be used in a direct fire machine. They're used in big pumper machines. Those big pumper machines generally cost about 65 to $70,000 for the machine. 
Most municipalities will use those machines for miles and miles of crack sealing on community roads or highways. The most efficient way to seal cracks is with a conga line. Literally a conga line. No, no, you're not gonna throw on a dance, but here's what you do. You have your crack cleaning person in the front cleaning out the cracks from dirt, debris, and vegetation. Next is the blower man. The blower man's gonna go ahead and blow away any dirt and debris that's scattered on the surface, making sure that crack is nice, clean, fresh, and prepared for crack sealing. Then you're gonna have your crack melter applicator moving as the final caboose of the conga line. It will seal up the cracks watertight, protecting that pavement investment for years to come.